kin to bring a set of cattle out. We don't, we, we want to go around behind them. That's human nature. Just like when you got on the interstate this morning, or when the kids got on the bus this morning. From the time we're this big, we learn to come around behind people and follow them up. That's what we're taught to do. That's what humans are taught to do is follow people up. So when we get on the highway, we follow people too close a lot of times. When we're going in the lunch line, we follow people up. When we're paying our, getting our money, not paying, we're getting our money. We get in behind people in line. We're real comfortable doing that. We're trained to do that, to go around behind people and follow them up. With cattle, that's exactly the opposite of what we should do because they want to see us. Like Ron said, and when, they, when you get in behind them, the closer you are, the more they turn their head. And when they turn their head, they go where they're looking. A horse, when you get in behind him, he's got a longer neck. He can turn quite a bit that doesn't take his feet off course. The fatter an animal gets, like a fat, fat uh, finished cattle, fin not fat cattle, it's finished cattle. The heavier and the closer they are to finished, the more you have to be in position. And this is why so many feed yards have trouble getting their cattle out of the pen. Because those cattle, first of all, they got a lot of life and they want to run and buck and play. And they just turn their head just this much and they're headed west instead of north. So it's real important to work these animals on their side. So where I position myself from now, you see, I'm going to try to position myself here where I can draw this animal's eye. He might have to go in the corner. I'll draw the other animal's eye out of here. Now I step forward, and now all I got to do is step back here, and these cattle should, all I have to do is make this much movement here. These cattle want to go with each other. Step, I have to reposition myself for the red calf or the black calf, and I can control the movement for these cattle right through here. I'll send Blackie back one more time. Now go back to your left. Now I'll come to your right. So I'll position myself to bring, her to bring him to his right and have him walk through that way. I'll try to keep his eye here. He made it around to the other cattle. So the thing we got to do here, when we, when we position ourselves, and I'll try to come in on the V this time. When we position ourselves here, see now it's really getting easy to bring him out of the corner. Now I'll, I'll see how little I can do. I'll cut it in half. There's one step, half a step more. Now, I'm, I've got this in my way. I'll wait till the red calf comes up, or the black one. Uh, I'll step, I'll get position right. Uh, now here I'll, uh, I want to stop the red. So you can see how little movement that you can train these cattle to take. And, and this, is, this is a pretty slow deal here. Now here we got some things, but I'll let these cattle work their way. This is a, I call it teaching these cattle to transition. This little guy is going to have to work himself out. Or I can switch sides, but I want him to learn to come by me on this side. I'm going to step here to bring him out just a little more, step back. Now step forward, he should come by. And all the time, I can always, now if I want to stop these guys, being as I'm working from the front, I can control the back of my bunch. And this is why it's so important not to go around behind these cattle, is you have no control of the front, and they don't learn from it. They learn just to get away from you. Now, cattle, horses, sheep, goats, I believe they work off of pressure. They don't like pressure. It's not the, the uh, pain of, of getting a shot or a brand that an animal doesn't want to go into a chute from. It's the fear of that confinement, the fear of confinement. And so what we try to do when we start gathering our cattle, start working them down to these smaller confinement areas is we start teaching them to accept that pressure. 